What's going on, Bucks Nation? Located Fear of the Deer Lane. And so we got two uh, two pretty things well, two things to talk about besides the victory over the Pacers. I'm gonna touch on that a little later, but um so the Bucks we released uh, Justin Robinson and we signed Javante Smart, the guard out of um he went the uh, he went to LSU and he was playing in, in the uh, summer league. And he was averaging 22 points. Um, I, my biggest thing to say about that is, with the release of Justin Robinson, I, I believe, uh, with the with the release of uh, Justin Robinson, I believe this guy is not just going to be um, sitting on the bench. I believe he's going to be incorporated into our our rotation. And as long as uh, Dante DiVincenzo continues to miss games, he's going to have a larger role. And that's just based off of um, he, he's able to score the ball. So why would we um, sign a player that has the potential to score and then we may need help offensively for our second unit? This guy's going to play. He's able to score, get his own shot, things of that nature. And that's... And that's going to pay dividends for our team going into um, the second half of the season, things of that nature, and going into the playoffs. Um, I'm not going to say he's going to make the playoff roster, but he's going to help us, you know, get to that point. And I think, man, Justin Robinson, he he was playing very well. I think they people were even saying that he was um, playing at a career high level for most of his uh, stats so i think man for him it it's it's bitter but sweet because i was um getting used to seeing him on our team and I, I like the way he played you know he can shoot the three he had good iq solid point guard off the bench but um for them to release him and bring in this guy man has to be potential because they both are pretty young i believe believe he's 22 and uh, Robinson was 24 so I don't think you know with those two years with those two years um, I, I think it's a it's a potential thing man and I think um, going forward we're going to see him you know be a part of this team hopefully and then in other news man it looks like we got Boogie man DeMarcus Cousins and this is crazy because um, I just seen I just seen Giannis tweet. He was um, like telling a joke, and he was like, "How do you get a How do you get a tissue to dance?" And the joke was, "You put a boogie in it." <laughs> and in all you know, in all retrospect, things come full circle. Next thing you know, man, it's a rumor that Demarcus Cousins signed a one year deal. Now, for me, a lot of people think this guy's washed. Look, they think he's ring chasing, which he might be. You know, this is definitely, um, a, like maybe the fifth or sixth contender he's been signed to over the last uh, five years. But I think what he brings to this team, in the midst of Brook Lopez's back injury, you you get someone who can potentially start some games. And you can put Bobby Portis back into his uh, bench role, or you can ask Bobby Portis to continue to start, and then you push Boogie into that um, center off the bench. And the thing about it is, what you ask Brook Lopez to do when the game changed and, and low pro centers were like a thing of the past, and they start asking centers to shoot the ball, that was what. Uh, Brook, Brook Lopez developed his game into but that's what DeMarcus Cousins has always been he's always been a guy that can shoot uh, create his own shot off the dribble and still post you up he was exactly what Bucks fans wanted in Brook Lopez and what he became and with the time off man this even what was it the year was it last year or the year before where he was playing very very well in the uh, Warriors postseason this was when mostly all of them guys were hurt, but Boogie was playing very, very well, man. So I, I think this guy has a lot left on the tank, and I think when when he finally gets a part of this team and gets um, in the rotation and everything, it's things that he does well. He plays he plays great um, around the rim defense, 
He has good IQ. His passing, he's he passed the ball like a great Chris Webber in the past, man. So some of y'all old people, <laughs> some of the old heads, I me, mean, I know who Chris Webber was, man. But his vision and his IQ, man, it's it's unmatched. It's one of the best in the league, man. This dude used to get triple doubles. So it's nothing, it's nothing to to sneeze at when it comes to his playmaking ability. And then you have someone that can spread the floor, spread the floor, hit the open man, uh, hook shot left or right, post up, fade away, hit the three, hit the midi, like, and all, all this stuff is um, improved now because with the injuries. So yeah, he's not as fast and he's not as um, athletic. But the fundamentals of his game is still there. So I think just him coming to our team is going to solidify our bench and solidify um, that, that that dominant big man threat that we always wanted. And a lot of us, we've seen recently, you know, how we're dominating the glass. This, this, this move, this signing pushes us to continue with that pressure and that momentum. So I'm glad that he was able to, you know, come to the Bucks. I'm a big fan of his. And I remember his... The year he went to uh, the Pelicans with with uh, Anthony Davis, and them two them two dudes was on fire. I mean, yo, I mean, I yeah, this was probably you know a few injuries prior to um, the ones he had more recently in, in his career. But man, this dude was a beast, man, with Anthony Davis, man. So I'm I'm good, man. I'm, shout outs to them guys, man. I think those two additions is going to solidify our bench and you know help us going forward. And then we uh, we played the Pelicans last night. Oh, not the Pelicans, the, the Pacers. Sorry, too many Ps. And every time we play the Pacers, man, it's like this is a revenge game for Malcolm Brogdon. Man. That's one, he's one of my favorite players. I didn't I didn't like um, I liked him more. I liked his game more. I liked what he produced more after he left the Bucks. But he he's a solid player, man. And uh, Karis, Karis LeVert, this was a solid team, but. When we're dominating the rebound, rebound side of the uh, of the ball, man, it, we're we're damn near impossible to beat. And um, we had a great game from Drew Holiday, man. Shout out to Drew Holiday. That was probably one of his best games offensively of the season. And then Bobby Porter did this thing. Um, Giannis, of course. So we're basically like having those guys carry the torch until uh, Chris Middleton can get back into his rhythm. Which is fine, man. We we have a lot of firepower to where, you know, he's able to take seven, nine shots a game until, you know, he's he's regained his momentum and his confidence. So right now, man, we we solid. You know, we're gonna to continue to play within the team and play defense. We're gonna play defense, man, and we're gonna rebound. And that's what we're going to do game in and game out, no matter who's on the floor. And that's what's going to make us competitive. Now, we're not always going to um, win games. Like, right now, we're, we're on, like, a what? I think we're on, like, a seven-game, eight-game win streak. You could put it down in the comments um, based on the win streak. But we're not, right? I think uh, tomorrow or Wednesday night, we play, I believe it's the, I believe it's the Pelicans. Let me double-check that. Oh, the Hornets. Yeah, he played the Hornets first game of December. And that's a good team also. With, you know, the mellow ball. He, he's able to... Um, his playmaking is... I was, I was speaking about playmaking earlier. He's one of the best playmakers in the league. And he's a young, young player, man. And he's able to hit, hit the shot. Get his own shot. Create for others, man. So that's going to be a good game to watch. But... Man, I'm just happy that we are where we are. Right now, we are currently our number one in our division. And last time I did a video, man, we were like eighth or ninth in the conference. And now we're fourth. So I told y'all they going to make some room for I, I wasn't lying, man. I told y'all these uh, other teams in the East was going to start making some room for our Bucks, man. And I'm just happy to see it, man. Hopefully, we can keep this up and, you know, finish strong, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. Peace.